This week on Nadia's Kitchen Creations, I'll be doing a round roast in the crock pot. You'll need to start with a washed, trimmed, and tied roast. I chose round roast for this recipe. The spices and herbs that you'll need for this round roast are one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground chili powder, one tablespoon of cane sugar, one tablespoon of salt. You'll also need one whole bay leaf, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and one teaspoon of dried parsley. Go ahead and add that mixture to your round roast. Make sure to rub the herbs and spices in, into the roast well, getting into all the cracks and crevices. You can, of course, season first and then type the roast to get the seasonings in a little easier. Just make sure that everything is covered well. At this point, you can stop and refrigerate your roast covered for 24 hours or go ahead to the next step. I chose to give my roast 24 hours in the refrigerator. If you do choose to go ahead with the next step on a medium high heat in a medium to large pot or skillet, add one to two tablespoons of high heat cooking oil, such as grapeseed or canola. If you do refrigerate your roast for 24 hours, make sure that the roast is out of the fridge for at least an hour or so, just so the surface of the roast is an ice cold, which will slow down the cooking process by bringing the temperature of your pot or pan down. And really, who has time? This is a long enough process. We don't really have time to slow down our process. Our minutes are precious in our busy lives. Make sure to brown each side of the roast for about five to seven minutes or until each side of your roast is dark brown and crisp. And this should take for this size roast, which is about two-ish pounds or a little less, this should take about 30 minutes. And continue browning each side. Maybe put on some music, listen to a podcast, watch a YouTube video to help pass the time. Have your crock pot ready and turned on to high heat and transfer your roast over to your crock pot. You can deglaze your pan or pot with about half a cup of hot water. Again, not to slow down the cooking process. I chose to add back the bay leaf that I marinated the mixture in and which is not a big deal because it's gonna get super hot again. So we're killing off any bacteria. I also added the juice of one lime. I forgot to add, add it before. So I added one teaspoon of dried cilantro and the one one can of room temperature beer, but make sure that your beer is at room temperature. You don't want to put an ice cold liquid into a hot um, ceramic or glass container because it, it can crack or break it. Cover and set the timer of your crock pot for six to eight hours on high. And the time will of course depend on the cut of the meat, size of the meat, and your individual crock pot settings. After six to eight hours, your roast should be forked tender. I went ahead and added one drain can of butter beans. That's what I had on hand. You can use any kind of canned beans that you like. Just make sure to strain it. The beans are not cooking. They are just heating up and Cover back your crock pot and let it go for another hour or so or until the harder vegetables that you may have added are fork tender. I chose to shred the roast and then I let it sit in the yummy liquid. But if you're going to slice your roast at the table, I would leave it tied and remove it from the liquid onto a heat proof dish. Cover loosely with foil for at least half an hour before slicing. You can serve this round roast in the crock pot over rice with the veggies that you added or in a flour or cord tortilla shell. This is also great on sandwiches the next day or pop a portion of the round roast in the freezer for use at a later date, which I did by the way. Thank you so much for watching and before you go, please subscribe, share this video, click the thumbs up button so I know that you're enjoying it and leave a comment. I would love to hear what you thought of this recipe and if you have any ideas that you want me to recreate on this channel. I'll see you in the next one.